Tonight on Wife Swap, a tightly scheduled mother swaps places with a free-range mum. No, we're not really that strict. It's two contrasting parenting styles in direct opposition. Everything that we do is included in that schedule. But could and should they learn from each other? I'm not a fan of homework. Um... And how will the new rules go down with the Fano? So you stuck with my rules, unfortunately. What? Um, clearing the schedule completely. <laughs> We'll see them swap lives for one week. I don't like water. I don't like... You've got cricket? Get real. I think you do. Get mad. No electronics. Get lost. I don't know where I am. On Wife Swap New Zealand. Meet the Alexanders. Dad, Mark Lee, who works in the travel industry. Here's Tristan Lee, who's five. His older brother, Jordan Lee, who's eight. And finally, Mum, Candice. I am very strict on the boys, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> when they come home from school, they know they have to do their homework. They know they have to pack their clothes away, get these things done. They misbehave, and there's always certain things that we will take away from them. For me, it's like... Uh, so... <laughs> Dad, Mark Lee's a sports nut. She, yeah, she's more strict than me. Yes, but, definitely. Um, <laughs> I'm scared of her rules as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tristan Lee's cricket? Yeah. Uh, tomorrow night, 5.30 to 7. Yeah. So, I have a schedule. That's his school trip for next week. Yep. Everything that we do is included. In I'm just coordinating everyone to make sure we are where we're supposed to be. <laughs> So Mark Lee is quite, quite an outgoing social person, the opposite of myself. Candace loves her South African soaps. I love to stay at home and spending time with the boys. I only have two sets of clothes that I wear, and that's my, my work uniform and my pyjamas. <laughs> So it, it can be a bit challenging at times because I'm you know, like, oh, let's go, my friends are going for a drink. Let's go with them. I mean, like, nah. need to have about a month's notice if anything happens um, so then I can prepare myself. Meet the blended and boisterous Barners. Holding Cleo too is Watty, who's a skilled technician. Rico's 10, this is Miller, who's nine, Laker is four, and here's mum, Kayla, who's got a five-month baby on board. We're not really that strict. Let's go, Rick. They've got boundaries and they're disciplined, but not like walking around like soldiers. And with the girls, sort of haven't got a bedtime for them, so they sort of go to sleep when they're tired. No. I think. Or they when you touch theirs. <laughs> I'm not super strict on homework. They've been at school for six hours straight. I like them to come home and just relax and be kids. Thank you. For my job, I make kits for kids. This is a flower pressing kit, and then you get dry, unbruised flowers, and you put them in between the layers. Ah. Kits that encourage kids to get out into nature. <laughs> come on in, jump up. Yeah, Waddy's very involved when he gets home from work. He helps with baths dinner, just entertaining the kids while I'm cooking dinner. There you go. Lunch is ready, guys. Come on. Kayla's outspoken, so she speaks her mind. She knows what she wants. She's an amazing mother. Um, she's also an amazing wife. And, you know, she, she looks after us. And I just, you know, I couldn't ask for anything else. It's swap day. And the family. Do you know what she looks like? Just no. No one knows. I hope that I can just inspire someone else and be inspired. I don't know, maybe she's just a soccer supporter as well. You do get the woman out there. And maybe. She can stay up and watch a football game with me and it'll be fun. Without Candice's schedule, <laughs> directorship in the house, <laughs> um, I think we will survive. I won't forget. I remember the boys like 60% of the time. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see you sign before. Be good boy. It's going to be really challenging just and the boys. I just want my boys to be looked after. Before they leave, both wives must hand over their phones. Here you go. 
Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy it then. Mm-hmm. Be fine. Right. See you then. See you later, eh? Have fun, eh? Have fun with your new wife. <laughs> Love you. Neither of the families have any idea at all who they'll get as a new mum or where they're from. I see a lot of farm areas and I'm thinking this. <laughs> I think it's a lot faster in the city. Just life is a little bit faster. It's pretty cute. <laughs> I'm just, yep, overwhelmed. <laughs> the house is empty, so both Candace and Kayla get a chance to look about and get some first impressions. I wonder what culture they are. And I see a doll. So there's a little girl. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. <sighs> Never looked after girls. And that's my schedule for the week. Yep, cricket, soccer, swimming busier than what I'm used to. Both wives have written detailed manuals to explain the household rules. Hi there, my name is Candice Alexander. Welcome to our home. We are made up of myself, Kayla, my husband. And our two beautiful kids, Jordan Lee, eight years old, and Tristan Lee, five years old. Happy for you, only the two oldest, the boys, will be with you for the six days, while the little two, the girl, grandparents, big family, Little relief that the girls are not, um, will not be here all the time. Mark Lee and I have been happily married for nine years after meeting in Cape Town. They must be South African. That's what I'm thinking. I make dinner most nights. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle to cook dinner for my own family. <laughs> so this is going to be really interesting. Both boys need help with their homework. They have to read every day and practice their allocated words. It's different to me because, you know, I make, I know that a lot of mums don't make homework a choice in their home, so I'm pretty well aware of that. I'm not a fan of homework, to be honest. <laughs> um, I'm, that's fine. <laughs> I am a firm believer in homework. So that's going to be an adjustment for me. Time to meet their new families. You're probably just as nervous as I. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hi. 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 I'm Kayla. Kayla, Mark Lee. Hi, Mark Lee. Nice to meet and you. Tristan Lee. Jo Jordan Lee Jordan and Lee. Uh, Tristan Lee. Hi. Say hello, auntie. <laughs> it's a bit funny having a mother lady in your house. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are Hi. you? Good and you? I'm good. I'm, My name I'm is Candice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rico, this is Rico. Hi, Rico. And Candace. this is Mula. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. I love your T-shirt. Bonnie. It's a good one. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> There's two activities happening over the weekend that we we stick to. So yeah. swimming for the boys, and then uh, I play cricket on a Sunday. Well, even though Candice runs a tight ship, um, I know what's important for the boys. I know what has to get done at the time and it needs to get done. I am excited to learn about their family and how they do things day to day. I also have two boys. Oh, nice. Mine's five and eight years old. So a little bit smaller than you guys. Um, yep, we're gonna have lots of fun the next six days. Yep. Sounds cool. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun six days. Yeah, very challenging but fun. First test of tentative chef Candice is dinner. I don't know if you know how to do roast. Can we not have roast? I don't want to have roast. We have to, because this is all we pulled it's out. It's already defrosted, unfortunately. She couldn't have given me, like, a defrosted mince or, like, nice and easy recipe. We had to go roast. OK, so I suck at cooking. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Just a little confession. I'm freaking out a little bit now. Coming up, Jordan Lee puts Kayla to the test. You've got cricket today after school, Jordan Lee. I think you do. No, you don't. And Candace loses her way. I don't know where I am. Driving new cards. And the plot. It's day two, and dawn has broken early for Kayla in the Alexander house. Making Mark Lee's coffee at 7am. That's when Candace makes his coffee every morning. 
you go, boys. Next up, the boys' breakfasts and a bit of housework. I'm nailing this. <laughs> all done? Yep, all done. Across town, Schedule Queen Candice has an altogether easier time of it. It was strange waking up this morning because the boys were sorting out their breakfast, so I didn't have much to do. There's even time for TV. Yeah, I've seen that. What's that? It's like, it's not a horror movie. His brother turns into a robot. Boys, how much TV do you boys watch? A lot. A lot? At our grandpa's, we watch We watch it 24-7. So we can watch TV for half an hour. How do they live? How do they live? <laughs> uh, are you done? Is that it? What about sandwiches? Don't you guys eat sandwiches? It's very difficult because when I'm at home, I make the sandwiches, so that wouldn't have happened. You've got cricket today as well after school, Jordan Lee. No. Oh, Tristan Lee. No. Rugby. Rugby. No, nothing. He has nothing after school. No, no one has. I think you do. But I'm not falling for it. It's Friday today, so Mummy put down that he needs to go to cricket today. But I can't. Oh, where cricket is? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. Oh, there they are. How, what are they doing in here? They're swimming back. Oh. Why does he put it in me? I want to believe them. I'm kind of questioning it. Just need a little bit, bit of time to think about it, eh? It's school drop off time for Candace and the boys but she's taken a rather odd route. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, no! Was it that road there? Yeah, it was. That's fine, we're turning around. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Different roads. I expected the school to be much closer, though. So I don't remember going through town. Don't know. I'm lost already. I think I'm going back to the school. So, it's along here somewhere. It was supposed to be easy, like the way the boys explained it. Frustrated. Yeah. People are like, oh, it's like three roads or whatever like that. But it's, yeah, three roads in an area that I've never been to. That I don't know where I am, driving new cars, just... Like, I'm really bad with directions anyway. Stuff. So after you boys have finished your afternoon tea, we're going to do some homework, OK? If you do cricket, you don't do homework. Oh. Yeah. Mum's instructions and Jordan Lee's instructions are different. <laughs> um, I guess I felt a little bit funny about it because I could sense that they wanted to just chill out themselves. We'll just do a little bit of homework today think that if they put all their kids into all these co-curricular activities and do all this homework that, that they feel satisfied in themselves and they feel like the kids are achieving. There's definitely things that I'd like to change. And this is perfect. So I met the girls just trying to get to know them a little bit more. It's beautiful pictures. Look at all of those fairies. <laughs> Probably good some exposure to some pink and, and unicorns. Mm -hmm. I just told him now that it's very strange for him to <laughs> make lunch <laughs> because I'm normally the one in the kitchen. Okay. He said, nope, he's pretty, he's happy to do it if I just keep on playing, so. I, I can't stand back and watch someone, you know, something that I usually do, it's, 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 it's weird for me. So, you know, so I like to just, you know, do it. Home. 
After school, Watty and the kids take home loving and it's yours. We come here quite often actually, especially on days like this. Some days straight after school, straight after work, you know. But nothing's gonna get her in the water. I'm not a rubber person. I don't like water. I don't like swimming. <laughs> Oh, it's freezing, eh, <laughs> I don't like the sand everywhere. But I'm not going to stop the boys or anyone from having fun. Hey. After swimming, it's another test for Candice. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, Candice. Have you got any children? Yeah. 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 Two boys. Oh, no. So eight and five years old. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to have any more or not? That's you? Yeah. Dylan and Justin? and Justin. Are you sure? <laughs> this can't be true. In the house, there's a lot of children. The baby wants something to eat. A lot of noise and shouting and running around. And now well, just be careful with him, hey? In South Africa, we have a really big family, so we have a lot of people around. This yummy juice. My thoughts are always with my own family. <laughs> Miss my home and my husband. You were telling me about how Candice really misses her mum, so that must be hard for her living yeah. Yeah, back here with, with not much family. Um, yeah, I, I try to fill that void by trying to do what she wants to do, so she's... If she's feeling lonely or missing a mom, we'll we'll try and Skype her mom, or we'll just stay at home and chill for the yeah. day. I just try to be with her all the time as much as possible because um, because she's not as sociable as I am. It's it's hard for her. I would. Yeah, I've learned that it's like really tough for on on the family, especially Candice, because she's um, has a really good relationship with her mum, and so she's really missing her mum back home. And there's another interest Mark Lee and Candice have in common to make them feel at home. How could you miss that as a clear-cut chance? My TV. Uh, I, I don't go days without watching any TV. If the parents are watching TV, then they're not really spending that quality time with the kids. It's rule time next. So you're stuck with my rules, unfortunately. What? I have noticed you guys spending too much time inside watching TV. It's rule change day, and Candace is set to rock the Barna boat. I'm excited to give the new rules. I think it will make a change, although for a 10-year-old and a 9-year-old, it might be massive rules. I have followed your family's rules for the last few days, and I'm hoping you will show the same respect for mine. Make their own lunches but I think you need to be aware of how important it is to get the right nutrition. School lunches will now include one piece of fruit, one snack and one sandwich. I know your mother doesn't agree with this, but from now on, when you get home from school, we will sit together and do 30 minutes of reading and mathletics. The boys are old enough to be tasked with general housekeeping. They will fold their own washed clothes and selves. Yeah. I feel good about this. They're all good. No, I can't stand doing that. I never make my bed. Mella just complains. <laughs> I am implementing a new bedtime routine. Boys will brush their teeth at 7.30 and have until eight o'clock to settle and go to sleep. <gasps> You're supposed to do it at the same time. The night time gets quite frustrating. Your boy going to sleep. Yeah, I'm hoping the rules will help them. I understand you give the boys a lot of freedom in this house. From now on, you can enjoy 30 minutes of TV after everybody has helped Wate with, with the dinner cleanup. So you're stuck with my rules, unfortunately. <laughs> Knowing them, they're always breaking rules. <laughs> oh, where's our real mum? <laughs> I know the half an hour TV time will definitely um, hurt them. <laughs> so this is what you signed up for? I'm going to play that night and break the rules. I will definitely have to keep an eye on Rico. <laughs> um, I think he's the one that tends to 
to try and, and push the boundaries. This is going to be boring. I think I do let them have a bit too much free time, but, um, yeah, I'll definitely help, help out and do what she wants done. They might push back. They will test their boundaries, but then um, they just don't get to watch any TV. Kayla's called a meeting at the Alexander's. I have called you all here to off changes. Huh? Changes. <laughs> Jordan Lee and Tristan Lee, I think it is important for you guys to relax your brains after a long day at school. So I'm banning homework. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes doing homework. I have to see the, the results of Kayla's work first before I take a side. At my house, we don't plan our weekends. It's all about relaxing and having fun. So this weekend, um, <gasps> clearing the schedule completely. <laughs> I definitely think they love me now. <laughs> I have noticed you guys spending too much time inside watching TV. We are going to get outside and I'm going to show you how you could and should enjoy a Kiwi summer. So that, that's going to hurt. No, I'm not OK. I just want a little bit of TV. Does that include all, all TV, like sports as well? <laughs> yes. <laughs> After hours as well? All okay. TV. I have learned so much of you, but given that you're new to New Zealand, I want to show you more of our Kiwi culture. Starting with food. Ooh. White bait. You know the little fish with the eyes? You get to eat the eyes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You go with the new rules? Yes. Huh? No homework? Yes. <laughs> With no homework or TV, playing is now a priority. Go, Tristan! Go, go, go! I brought the boys here today to keep them fit and active and enjoy a bit of the sunshine. Now, the things off the list. Just in the look, a teeny tiny pine cone. Is this better than homework? Yes. Yeah? Followed by a Kiwi tradition. Are we going to sit under here? Yeah, under the, under the shade? Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah, I'm, who's hungry? Me. What you guys the Lord, make us be thankful in Jesus' classic name. Amen. Amen. Here we go. So what do you boys reckon? Fish and chips on the beach, is it good? Yeah. Yeah? It's quite different uh, for us to sit on a towel and eat. We're used to eating at a tent. <laughs> what about you, Mark Lee? Are you missing the TV? <laughs> <laughs> well, that kind of view, I don't think I can miss the TV, but... <laughs> Candace's first test for Rico and Miller soon crops up. Miller, Rico. Yes? Yeah. Can you please come and fold up your washing? Oh. Miller's folding no leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, those are Miller's undies. Yes, yes, yes. Now, you're, now your head's going to smell like caca. <laughs> Lika had her undies on and she looked like a clown. <laughs> when Mum gets home, I'm going to help her um, fold the clothes because she's pregnant, so it'll be a lot harder for her. OK, guys, I'm going to cricket now. As the rules dictated, TV has been banned. Bye bye. bye. Can we kiss? I plan to watch a game tonight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Kelly would be uh, happy with me. Say bye, Daddy. Bye. bye. But I see rules as more of guidelines. We'll see how she reacts to that. <laughs> with less TV, there's also time for a traditional Safa braai with friends. Hello, hello, hello. hello. How are you? Post me. Post me, i Kayla. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Meet's done, guys? Yeah. Let's go. You're going to put it to sleep with the pup afterwards. Yeah, this... Did you warn a pup oh, put this, you to this sleep? This put you to sleep, man. <laughs> this food you're going to... Yeah. OK, boys, it's been 30 minutes. TV's off. Do you want a pay, Rico? <laughs> okay, three minutes until eight, boys. <gasps> Seriously, I wasted all my time. Um, can I read a book while I wait? Nope. 
Three minutes. You're gonna read for three minutes. Can I sort out my cars or something? No. Okay, lie down. Clown. I just think. Is that how you sleep? Sometimes. No. So if you don't go to sleep now, no TV tomorrow. Okay, night, boys. Good night. There's trouble brewing with the Barna boys. No electronics. One of my rules, no screens. And is everyone following Kayla's no TV rule? I'm hoping with this map that I don't get lost. Boys off at school wasn't a good experience, so hopefully today will go better. <laughs> I'm feeling very confident. It's just one more road I need to turn down, so I'm sure I'll be able to find it. I made it. Yay! Boys, what do you think of my map? So good. It's a confusing map. Why? Why? I don't know. Away from here. With a little map. I still don't get it. Do you like it? Uh, Mama does. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Hello. Why don't you eat your sandwiches? You can eat them now. I want them. Well then, no TV. So, Mala, are you happy to have no TV time tonight? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so these are the words you need to spell. Korea. C-A-R-E. E E R. Yeah. O. Yeah. U. Oh wait, no. I noticed that their beds were not made. I need to break the news that there's no TV for either one of them. Rico, mm? can I chat to you quickly, please? Yeah. I don't think they're going to be very happy, but there needs to be some structure and consequences. Good job on homework. I did realise this morning is your beds were not made up. Oh, that's right. So what was my rule? If we don't do our beds, we've got no TV. Yep. Normally, Mum makes our beds for us. I really want my mum to come back. Do you want to go into your rooms and make up your beds, please? Yep. And then... I think he thought that it was just another empty threat um, and I don't think he was very happy with me following through. I don't like TV that much. I don't care. OK. So, no Yu-Gi-Oh, no nothing? You don't care? Me. I'll just be doing my rope scoop. You know some people live in their boats? What? Yeah. Oh, there? Yeah. I don't think the boys had been here before. So it was quite nice to take them somewhere different. Which boat would you choose? I don't know. To live on? I that one. This, with the blue on it? Yeah. I'd probably choose that big one over there. I would choose... I think the boys... Yeah, I would like to put it in there. Rather than rushing straight back home and straight into homework. But what do the boys think? I miss reading. I would rather do mathematics than going to see the boats. Meanwhile, Candace has just told Miller he can't go online to look up how to solve his Rubik's Cube. You OK? So why did you get upset? Because I wanted to solve it. Yep. Way that you can solve it without using the internet. <laughs> I can't even help you because I'm not good at it at all. When I had mine, I just peeled all the stickers off. The rule is in place for a reason. I don't see the need for him to solve it immediately. So I wasn't going to batch on it now. I don't think that's so important to be solved tonight. It's definitely one of the hardest one situations that I've been in because um, there's a very thin line between like 
um, disciplining other, other people's children. OK, no electronics. Oh, you're doing a bit of homework. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So I've stepped back from my rule of no homework and I've allowed Jordan Lee to continue doing what he enjoys doing. Yay! Do you enjoy doing this? Yes. It's fun. If kids feel relaxed doing a certain piece of homework, then that's fine and that's why I make it a choice in my home. And I'll pop upstairs. Good boy. Good. He's in that room crying because he got banned off all the technology. Mother feels like he doesn't have screens for like three years, and he's only had it for like ten minutes. He brought a Rubik's cube home, and he wanted to Google how to solve it. Oh, electronics, oh, yes. Oh, good job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just smiling, you know. It's good because I like them getting in trouble, you know. And sometimes they be told. <sighs> That's what I like day. to hear, some discipline. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that Candace stuck to it and, you know, ended up banning them off their electronics. <laughs> oh, well, if you fellas didn't listen, then that's what you get, I guess. Kayla's just found out Mark Lee's been watching football at a friend's. I think it kind of defeats the purpose of having no TV in the house because it's still TV, but it's away from the family. <laughs> I'm quite concerned about bringing it up, only because I don't like stepping on people's toes, and especially in their own house. One of my rules was no screens. Not only did I mean no screens in the home, I mean no screens at all. Um, my assumption was that there was no TV screen time allowed in the house, so I left the house <laughs> and watched it somewhere else. <laughs> I understood the rules. It was a very important game last night. Um, I, oh, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't miss it. I apologise for that. I really feel for Candice with, you know, with her family being in South Africa. I do agree that socialising is important, especially individually as well. But because uh, you already do quite a bit of socialising. When it comes to the night times, I thought it'd be nice if you guys come together and sort of prioritise that time together. Mm. Deep down, I think he actually genuinely knows I'm away from home, but... I did, I did cut a little deep, I'm not gonna lie. The wives meet next. So he broke the rule. So he broke the rule. The swap is very nearly over. So, all ready to go? I'm all ready to go. Sad to leave? <laughs> Bit of sweet. <laughs> Bit of sweet. Nah, yeah. I am. I'm going to miss you. You and your little yeah. cheeky face. <laughs> I would think that my life could be better, or I would love to live the couple of days in someone else's life, until I was placed in this situation. It's been... Challenging, but also a very good experience. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. Bye. I know the boys will be sad to see Candace go. Yeah? Even though it's only been a short time, they've already created a bond, you know, which is always good. I like it when the kids enjoy someone else's company. I to Kayla to put a face to the house. <laughs> She'll be quite impressed, actually. Like, anyone that can discipline the boys is, is, is good in her books. Once I've had enough now, it's time for Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, but I'm, I'm ready to have my, my wife back. <laughs> yeah. Very mad. Oh, 
Did you miss me? Yeah, I missed you. <laughs> they all meet for the first time. Hi, Candice. Nice to meet you. Hey, What's the issue? Nice to meet you, yeah. Oh, Thanks for looking after my kids. Oh, pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for she looking after mine. She did a good job. She did a real good job. <laughs> Congratulations, first of all. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the boys were good. Your children were amazing. From the get-go, I was really nervous because I saw all pictures on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take the boys to school. Um, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You're you going to be so proud of me. Did you get lost? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Yes, yeah. directions. Yeah. So getting there was fine. Yeah. Coming back, oh. man, was that a different story? <laughs> yeah. So I got lost and drove around for 30 minutes. Nice. <laughs> nice. I think Mark Lee mentioned something about directions just and Candice. Bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I met um, Jade. Her sister Jade, they've got five kids. Yeah. And then they're four. So there were nine kids they're in the house. <laughs> it was nice to have all of like the kids running around because that's what we used to do in South Africa, this home. It must be hard because even when I was away I missed my sister. Yes. Yeah, I got an idea, um, you know, we can come together as two families and you know, throughout this, you know, we're family now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, get you all for a prize. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so one of my rules was uh, no TV, but then Mark Lee, he thinks that it's no TV in the house while off he went to Nabil's house. To <laughs> <some soccer. laughs> so he broke the rule. So he broke the rule. Yeah, I was a bit naughty. Oh, went to bed and... <laughs> and <laughs> it was all fun and games at the time. Um, but I did, I did realise that uh, it can be frustrating. And it's also time that we could be spending together. It does take away from our time. It's something that I can, I can really re, re look and rethink of. That was one of the things that we're going to try to work on. <laughs> As you may have seen, the boys can choose to do their homework or not do their homework at all. So one rule that I had put down is no homework. <laughs> I squeeze my hand. <laughs> I kind of expect that. Because I noticed they had a, quite a busy schedule and then straight home into homework. One of my rules. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I could see this coming. <laughs> it's the opposite of yours, basically. Um, that they need to do homework. I think that he just really liked that I was sitting next to him and kind of helping him. Yeah. And just getting him that praise and that confidence that, that he's... I really liked that the boys were very independent. That's definitely something that I could bring into my household. Yeah, so what Candice brought to the house, you know, she brought a bit more routine because I'm quite relaxed. I yeah. can, you know, go on and go with the flow by say what the kids want to do, we just do. Yeah. I think a little bit of structure would be good for your household because that will free up some time for you as well. I, I think even I know deep down that maybe our house needs just a little bit more structure with the kids and, and what they're doing at set times great swap because we've actually balanced each other out. I totally agree. I think there should be balance between structure and being laid back. Yeah. And yeah, and, um, thanks for the comfortable voice. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, it's time for the wives to go home. Fully pushed me out of my comfort zone. Yeah, way out. Way out. <laughs> Where are they? Boys! Surprise! No! 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 Where's my monkey? I think it's important to focus on family, so there's a lot of things that I will implement in the house. I must talk. So much. Hey. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. I've definitely come home with like a huge appreciation for my family. Yeah. 
I heard about the no homework. I wanted to do homework. High five. Yay. <laughs> if we can move halfway across the world, why not cut down on TV? I'm sure yeah. they won't die. <laughs> Dice los 